Hello, Lola's. Well, long time no hear from. I am here to do a video with you guys today. Um, you see my little tiny one over there to the side, Penelope Poo. She is a micro preemie. Um, she is 15 inches and she was painted and rooted by me. Um, her hair is like a mess right now because I had did it tried to bush it out like basically just for um some pictures earlier but she is not the person that we're focusing on in this video so i also have here mr nigel which is willow the willow awake prototype number three um he is also well not also he is painted and rooted and poured and sculpted by Claire Teller. Um, so we are going to get him dressed pretty much. And so yeah, so forgive me with the camera. I haven't, should I haven't did a video in so long. I don't even know, you know, trying to get the angles right. And it's like, okay, let's see if I lift this up a little bit, maybe. Hey, big boy. So him and Noah have been wearing their pajamas, which I absolutely love in their pajamas. Um, but I'm going to change him out and then I'll change Noah out next. Um, so he always, you'll see him most of the time with the Elmo um, pacifier, which I don't know why I didn't give that to him just now but usually that's what he has all the time and most of all his pictures um but these pajamas i've had for i don't know maybe two years i don't know a year two years something like that but they are nine months in um at walmart for like five dollars and 66 cents or they might have went up to seven dollars and 88 cents but um they're cut pretty small, so you can put your little babies on the nine month. They got room, like they're a little room in the waistline, but I mean, for the most part, it works. <laughs> so, um, whew, so with everything going on in the world, it's been pretty crazy, and I don't want to get too much into that because I know sometimes. You know we're using we want to use the dolls as a distraction to take a break from all that in our head but um i've been extremely busy and i've been working um actually working this morning like i told you guys you know not rooting my own babies definitely slows me down with how often i put babies up for sale and you know i'm also painting for myself so that's kind of another thing every baby that I make is not for sale but um I have you know I sold a little um one by Tori Dolls that I did some touch up work on um I sold her and um then I should I'm pretty much done with Susu, but of course we have to wait for um have to wait for the rooting. And I'm not gonna try to do that because <laughs> she's a bigger baby and I have a specific look that I want from her for her. So I know a lot of people have asked me, will I sell her blank? Some babies I will I mean not blank, um ball. I uh, some babies I will sell ball, but this particular baby, the look that I have for her, I want to complete that look. I want to finish her. So, um, I, I am painting some other babies in between. And maybe I'll, you know, if somebody wants them balled, I'll, I'll, I'll sell those balled. But this one, I really want to finish the look that I had for her. And, you know, I, I don't mind selling my babies balled. You know, and people, you know, root them or send them off and get them rooted by other, you know, artists, other 
or they root themselves and stuff like that because they save money and you know I don't mind that but you know sometimes the look that you were imagining in your head doesn't really come all the way through if you don't you know do it yourself so this one I, I wanna I wanna see what she looks like because I have a second kit Susu by Natalie Blake that um oh I have a second kit that I um I'm gonna paint for myself that one will be a keeper Susu by Natalie Blake is gonna be one of those forever keeper babies that's why I bought two one to sell and one to keep so I have a couple kits like that. I have a Knox that I want. I got here to paint for myself. I paid a little bit more than the regular price of that kit just to get that kit um, a while ago. And I've been holding it probably a year. I've been holding that kit. Um, oh my God, he is so stinking cute. I'm sorry guys. I just love me some Nigel. Look at that. <laughs> so top it's like so hard for me to um okay. I'm also painting on Finn that's gonna be a, a story to tell it's you know taking me a while to finish him but I'm hoping that he comes out really nice but I am working on him and he will be going up for sale when I finish him. He's so, his sculpt is so beautiful. Um, but I have a Louisa on, on sale. I'm not on sale, on layaway. So I'm planning on um, keeping Louisa. He looked like he got like a, what up there, a bruise there? It's in the painting. It just, it just cracks me up because I'm always thinking like, oh my God, like he's real. But yeah, um, so yeah, so he, um, so I'm, I decided because I have the two boys that I would let Finn go and keep the girl. So, um, because I don't have any full body, full size girls and Penelope P is going to be sold. She has, um, first time first right for refusal on her and um that expires today so if um the collector can't pay for her today or you know whatever you know i'm not going to say pay cuz they make it sound like people don't have it or something like that but if she can then she will go up for selling first person that pays for her I'll be the first one to get it. I'm not doing no promises anymore. For right, first right refusals, I'm not gonna do that anymore on her. Um, Cause the little baby, I I did a hold, and um, that I missed a lot of uh, sales on that one. Oh look, you guys so far away. I'll pull up a little closer so you guys can see. Look at him. I love I love the way. Um, Clotella paints. I don't know you guys get tired of me saying that, but when you look at her work, um, there's so much detail in her painting and so much, it's so, so lifelike. Um, it's crazy. Um, the depth, the color, I mean, a lot of people when they paint they use like one to two colors on the babies usually but with him like you can see he is he has so much motlin look at his little back oh my god he's so wonderful mm. <laughs> so he has he has so much he has so much going on with him and so I really love, I've always loved that about her and I love her lighter babies. I love, um, I love her dark skin babies, but I also really love her lighter babies. It's just, um, I don't know, she, um, she's 
gets the color so perfect. I just feel like, um, you know, I kept trying to, you know, tell myself and don't, don't get me wrong. I, I actually love my work now. I'm to a place where I really love my work and I feel like my work is really good, but you know, I'm not like, you know, other artists who wants to pretend like they're, they're more than they're, they, they are. You know, it takes time, it takes, you know, skill, it takes practice, it takes a gift, <laughs> a special talent to be able to do this stuff. And, you know, I know I'm not putting myself down. I know that I do very good, especially with the skin tones. I think I do very well for myself. Um, you know, it's always room for improvement. But I also know that I cannot do this yet. <laughs> I don't know if I ever will, but I know right now. You know this this is not it so sometimes that's why I still you know occasionally will crave to have someone else work but I've gotten to the point and I thought I'd never get there I got into the point now where I really love my own work and sometimes I actually over other artists I prefer my own work so um, you know if you're a painter or something like that you know and you really have a passion for it don't knock your you know knock yourself or you know beat yourself up too bad like I do myself all the time <laughs> because you will get get there if it's in you everybody is not gonna have that that knack but you won't know until you try anyway so um so this is newborn that I'm putting him on, and as you can see, it fits him very well. Um, let me see, let me make sure this one is newborn. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's newborn. And it fits him very well. These pants are newborn. So although they're long and they're a good size for dressing and they can fit three months, they also can fit nine months, I'm sorry, newborn, they can also fit zero to three months. It's just depending on the clothes now these pants might be a little snug because of they look they look a little bit more smaller than the normal newborn eh, yeah I mean and he would be able to put it on but I'm feeling some type of way about the blue I don't put my babies on dark colors especially not directly but let's see just for I can't say that for giggles <laughs> yeah he can fit them but like I said see they're I don't know I, my babies you know when they're little like that see I don't I don't like that when my babies were little like this you know, they don't never fit their clothes snug or just right. I mean, that's just me. Like, real babies, we tend to buy the stuff with a little bit of room for growth and all this crazy foolishness that we go through. And so the babies don't usually have on clothes that's really snug. So I just wouldn't have put him on the newborn um, pants. So... Really, truthfully, they're more zero to three size. And, um, you know, if the, if it's cut small, three months or whatever. But the onesies, you know, I put all my babies, almost all my babies on a newborn onesie. Just because, especially if it's a, um, a reborn, because I don't want the cloth showing. So that way the it's snug against them. So I do that all the time. But anyways, I am going to go. Um, I guess this is what he's going to have to wear. So say bye-bye, Noah. Oh, not Noah. Nigel. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was thinking. When I went to do this, I was thinking about... Um, I was thinking about Noah because I always do this to Noah when it's time for him to to lay down. <laughs> I mean, for the video to end, I always turn him on his back. All right. 
All right, baby. See you guys later.